All right, all right, all right. Dial it to 11. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. Happy afternoon to the JB Font channel. I'm your host, James Fontleroy. Today, I have special guests. I have Eric and Corey with me today. These movements tend to fail every single time. And then people will go apathetically, man, well, we did all this marching, we did all these protesting and nothing happens. And I think one of the issues is that there is no list of demands and carrying out the consequence if those demands are not met. What do you want people to take away from this, from these list of demands before we get into it? Sure. Well, I mean, one thing is, is when you're talking about numbers, one thing it, it, it makes me think of is, is 11, you know, why is it 11? And, and part of it is it kind of played out that way as far as constructing a, a list, at least an initial list. But it's also a concept that kind of comes from the, in a way that the Spinal Tap movies, <laughs> if that's, if that's a weird connection. But, but there's the scene in Spinal Tap where he's showing off the amp and he says, you know, this amp goes up to 11. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the guy says, yeah. you know, why don't you just make it 10? And he goes, no, it goes to 11. Um, and so the, the concept is not to just be asking for what you, you, you'll accept or what you might get. The concept is to be asking for strong demands at the start. You know, don't start with compromises. So, for instance, to health care, you know, Medicare for all is a compromise, right, from yeah. the start. You know, yeah. demand health care for all. Demand mm -hmm. a United States national health care system that represents everyone with no privatization. You know, mm -hmm. If you're talking about ending the wars, you know, don't just demand that, you know, we, we end one or pull out of one. You know, demand an end to imperialism. Demand steep cuts in the military budget. Mm -hmm. You know, if it comes yeah. to education, you know, demand full up payment for education with, with public dollars with you know with federal dollars that, that that we can generate so so that's one one of the main concepts i'm trying to get at with it is is don't don't start with compromises for starters that that's what democrats do right? well it's it sort of sounds like the the old saying if you shoot for the stars you may get the moon right is that mm -hmm. your yeah although yeah. i mean i i think we should fully intent on a movement of, of getting it all you know i i don't i don't think we should even be contemplating this idea of, of compromising at least not early on especially right and the these ideas are also things that i think have to come from our leftist movement because just to say one thing on on the blm movement and the george floyd movement one thing that uh that i noticed is and this is coming from the mainstream media so we're going to have the mainstream media coming at us with these things the mainstream media basically in my opinion at, once uh, derek chauvin was convicted they really mm -hmm. put out the message that it's over and that was the propaganda that was going out there. That's a and, point. Yeah. And, and, and so, you know, it's it's one of those things. And, and also to nod on the collaboration part is um, on that vein, you know, even in this 11 demands list, we, we give a nod to the 10 demands for justice, which are which are absolutely great. And, uh, you know, th those are those are moments where we have to we have to fight it because mainstream media will tell us it's over. They, they will tell people that and a lot of people will listen. Yeah. And so we have to be mm -hmm. continuously pushing against that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely.